It's HBR One, All Things Considered, and I'm Dave Lawrence. Musician Leon Russell is touring the islands, starting on Maui last night. He's supporting a recent release of standards and classics called Life Journey. Here's a little sample of a few of the well-known songs included. Some folk like to get away, take a holiday from a neighborhood. Some old sweet song keep Georgia on my mind. Be back in the morning, keep her all through the night. A lot of them I didn't know. The Billy Joel one, I didn't know that very well. I had to kind of learn that. And one of the Duke Ellington songs, I didn't know very well. Georgia On My Mind. Yeah, I used to do that on my show before I did this album. I, that was my dad's favorite song, and one of mine, actually, too. It sounds like it was a sort of experience of getting to see where some of your earliest inspirations may have come from. I joined the Columbia Record Club and for some reason got in the jazz category, which I'm not really a jazz person at all, but Benny Goodman, J.J. Johnson, and Kay Winding, and Miles Davis, and a bunch of records. You get about six free when you join that club. Right. And uh, there was a place called the Momar Club in Tulsa that was a jazz club. They had jam sessions on a Friday and Saturday that started about midnight and went to about 10 in the morning. And I learned a lot listening to those guys. You weren't soliciting the material, but this variety that just came automatically actually ended up playing a role in shaping your musical vocabulary. Yeah, I think so. I really had not been crazy about jazz. I wouldn't let my kids say the word. (laughs) Because jazz seemed like the spontaneity of creating a melody at the expense of time and many other things really bugged the (laughs) out of me. I didn't like that. Well, there are just some people, jazz is a dirty word. Yeah, I was was one of them. Do you keep in touch with Elton since doing that project? Well, not really. I mean, Elton is not really an in-touch guy. He called me up, uh, and I was watching a soap opera, and I hadn't spoken to him in 35 years. Wow. He said that we should do an album together, and he actually was on safari in Africa, and he got to thinking about me and got very emotional and thought that he had not kept in uh, contact. Enough. Any memories of that collaboration that just stick out as we talk about it? Uh, I called up uh, Johnny Barbas, who was my manager at the time. I was also Elton's manager, and uh, told him that I wanted to do it. And he said, well, Elton wants you to have a producer. Well, I'm not a guy that has producers. I've worked for many of the biggest producers in the world, and I have to tell you, there's a lot of bullshitters in that category. You know, I, you know, you know, it's just a few that I can count on one hand that I thought really knew something. So I was getting ready to go over to Montrose, and I met Tommy over there. I'd, of course, known Tommy for 45 years. Producer Tommy LaPuma, who did Life Journey and also did that recent McCartney Standards album. And he cut one of my songs that launched George Benson's career. He cut Diana Krall, and he's just cut so many jazz artists. I was afraid there might be jazz damage there. You know, I was really <laughs> scared of it. When we started talking, I found out that he was a blues hound like myself. Uh, he knows all all about it and where the bodies are buried. And uh, it was great fun. I, he's the best producer I've ever worked with. And I'm happy to say that he did my album. Because, uh, I really worked with some stinkers before. It was kind of tough because uh, it was, this was about a 25-piece band and the writer of the band used to play bass for Count Basie. I happened to mention when I was talking to Tom in the preliminaries that I was a big fan of Basie. And so the next thing I knew, I had a Basie arranger and uh, his bass player and the guy that was playing drums played. That's his orchestra, too. That he played for Oscar Peterson. I had all these jazz giants in this band. I was really scared to death. I, you know, I was really outclassed. I like how you kind of come full circle with the jazz cats. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I was very proud to have that caliber of band. Do you think that that's the kind of thing that made you in demand? You had this approach. You had a lot of different variety with the influences so that when you hit the studio, you were sort of well-armed. I was well-armed if they, if they understood what I did. You know, there's all kinds of ways to skin a chicken, I guess. That's a good way of putting it. The new album is Life Journey. His show tonight at the Republic has been canceled. Check point of purchase for refund information. And the tour continues tomorrow at the Wainaku Center in Hilo and Saturday at the Sheraton Keahoe. A big thank you. 
to Leon Russell for being our guest today on Hawaii Public Radio. Thanks, Leon. Hope this wasn't a hassle. No, no, I'd love to do this. It keeps me from having to have a real job. (laughs) Thank you.